Ooh. Ooh. Surprisingly competent 3D stealth platformer that has managed to accurately showcase one of the most famous anti-heroes in the world of fantasy entertainment. Despite its underdeveloped visual presentation, it is still one of the rare Lord of the Rings games that are worth playing. I don't believe you! Just like Golem, I'm a bit split. The Lord of the Rings, Golem features a great story that adds to the lore, along with a terrific stealth system, but it misses the mark in other areas. A finicky and redundant platforming system, mixed with a dialogue system that lacks bite makes for a combination that drags the rest down. Golem is always so close to the ring, but ever so far. Golem feels like a game that would have had a hard time even 10 years ago, as simply the basic framework of stealth and uncharted climbing is not good and left me more frustrated than motivated. The Lord of the Rings, Golem is a game commendable for Dedalic's effort to tell a wholly original story in Middle-earth by mixing stealth and platforming mechanics, but it falls apart on almost all sides, in precise controls, terrible AI, bland narrative, outdated level design and graphics from another generation. Wish the ring had never come to me. The Lord of the Rings. Golem shines brightest in the moments where Golem has a dialogue with secondary characters. The Lord of the Rings, Golem is littered with technical and gameplay issues that dampen the fact that there's a great story at its heart. Like in the great stories, Mr. Fur. The ones that really matter. The Lord of the Rings, Golem was a bad idea on paper and isn't even worse as a game now that we can play it with a dull and boring plot and a gameplay formula that feels too old to be real in 2023. Like Golem's War Within, this stealth platformer struggles with its own identity while offering a thoughtful tale concerning the mind and travels of its protagonist. Must is my friend. You don't have any friends. Sadly, the Lord of the Rings, Golem is not the precious that we were looking for. Golem's inner battle mechanics are fun but anti-prominent feature in a game consumed by terrible platforming sections and dated visuals. Voice acting adds promise to the experience along with a stellar soundtrack, but there's no real reason for you to play this game unless you yearn for a retro platforming experience or simply love Golem. The Lord of the Rings, Golem manages to appropriate the best features of one of the best and most complex characters created within an unquestioned mythology, but a limited aesthetic representation of the world surrounding it and sloppy movement systems prevent for the game from being as precious as it should be. I can't do this. Much like the namesake character himself, the Lord of the Rings, Golem couldn't be saved from what it became. Frustrating platforming coupled with boring gameplay and cheap ways to die make any experience hard to play. Unfortunately, the intriguing setting and lore exploration can't come close to overshadowing the game's fundamental issues. Nobody likes you. The Lord of the Rings, Golem has the ghost of good ideas sprinkled throughout, but they're woefully hindered by dated graphics, stiff, wonky controls, endless bugs, glitches, and crashes, and in-game gimmicks that fail to live up to their lofty ambitions. King Theoden sums it up best, you have no power here. <laughs> you have no power here. Golem is probably the worst game set in the famous world, repulsive and unstable like the main character himself. The idea was really good and you can tell that the developers know and understand the source material, but the game they made offers outdated graphics, frustrating platforming, enormous amount of glitches and primitive stealth mechanics. LOTR, Golem is a failure on almost every level. Beyond an interesting story, it's hard to salvage anything worth your time in this adventure. One or two nice ideas and the unconventional main character do not save Gollum from boring gameplay, clunky controls and a technique that even Sauron would find too cruel. Ooh. Ooh. Absolute atrocity. A better developed game than Diablo 4. 
I give it one for including an end game and not having a cash shop in a paid game. Uh, we know it is bad. We know it is not fun. I think ChatGPT would even make a better job than the devs that made this game. Absolute work of art. This game is actually a soulless ridiculous mess and the worst game of 2023. 4 out of 10. Game of the year. He's up to something! This game is horribly frustrating. Unfair movement, buggy as ever, and repetitive voice acting. SE show go acing plays meant to fall to the Respito Praos Vasta Seri. Some form of elvish. D Dalek has one been among the best developers for any kind of adventures, bringing us gems like Depania. Therefore, it is even more hurtful to play through this abomination shit, that could have been an interesting take on one of Tolkien's most interesting characters, but instead delivering nothing except frustration and physical pain on every possible level. Garbage. Nothing else. The mechanics are clumsy and just bad, the story is awful and boring, the setting is a weird choice, considering it's a LOTR game. I don't know how something like this can happen. Golem will be the definition of bad game for the next years. Три години було весело спостерігати за тим, як не треба робити ігри. Але я тільки що зловив баг, і за якого довелось починати главу з початку. Я втратив годину гри за місць перепрохадження. Видалив її. Така реграбельність мені не здалась. This is the most bugged game I saw for a 10 years. There is no chance you will complete even onboarding without lagging, texture dropping, or stucking without the possibility to avoid a critical bug. Please do not buy this hell. This is the best game ever made. I have always wanted a game where I could play as Golem. Golem is my favorite fictional character of all time and I think he is perfect in this game and I hope they make more Golem. Best game of 2023. TOTK and FF16 have nothing compared to this. Definitely game of the year 2023, no contest. I don't believe you! Top tier game. Haters gonna hate to. Golem animations and voice acting alone deserve a pure 10 out of 10. He's up to something! Worst game I've ever played in my life. Really bad game. I just have the feeling that I have wasted my money. Bad graphic, bad story, bad movements. Boring and disappointing. Uh, we know it is bad. No, it is not fun. Only bought because I'm a Tolkien super fan. Do I regret paying this much? Yes. Would I have purchased it if it was far less? Yes. Papa, you fools! I love having schizo arguments with myself. Very poor throughout. Game is exceptionally buggy and a real chore to get through. Wish the ring had never come to me. I beat this game three times. I think I might need help. <laughs> M. No. Sadly, I have to agree with the majority. This game is pure garbage and insult to the fans. Uninstalled it and will collect dust in my library's graveyard section. Feel sorry to waste my money on that, even pre ordering it. Well, live and learn. Overall, 2 out of 10 pure trash.